Hello everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain the hydraulic cylinders synchronized in series with the animation. Here, hydraulic cylinder synchronization means here those are to be synchronized means their speed should be matched. Here the two cylinders are to be operated at a time and their speed should be same and during that time we have to use the hydraulic cylinders synchronized in series. And that I am going to explain here how the working is taking place and also what are the applications where we are going to use this one with the animation we see. The first we will take the circuit diagram of the hydraulic cylinder sequenced in the series. It consists of a tank, filter, pump, pressure relief hall and 4 by 3 direction control hall, cylinder 1 and cylinder 2 which are to be synchronized. During its operation, when the direction control hall is at top envelope, then the pump flow will be flowing in this direction which is to give, which is to be close to this blank end side of the piston or a cylinder and here when the fluid is entering the piston starts extending and here the fluid is present in the rod end side of the cylinder will be flowing out and that outlet flow will be connected to the blank end sides of the cylinder 2. Then at the same time when the extending of the cylinder 1 is starts, the extending of the cylinder 2 will also start. But here the whatever the area at the rod end side, the same area should be there at the piston end side, blank end side of the cylinder 2 because if the area is same then only the speed will be synchronized. And the extending of the second cylinder also starts the fluid from the rod and side of the cylinder 2 will be flowing back to the tank. Then when the direction control valve is at bottom envelope, the fluid from the tank will be flowing to the rod and side of the cylinder 2. Then a retraction of the cylinder 2 starts. Then during that retraction, here the fluid whatever contained on the blank end side of the cylinder 2 will be flowing back to the cylinder 1 on the rod end side. And for retraction of the cylinder 1 is also starts with the same speed. Both are synchronized to carry the load. Then this can I am going to explain with the animation also. Here we can see this is animation circuit consists of the tank, filter, pump run by the motor pressure relief valve, direction control valve, it is a 4 by 2 direction control valve. Central is a position is a neutral position. Now to avoid that neutral, the direction control valve, 4 by 2 direction control valve is taken. And also the two cylinders which are to be synchronized, those are used as a double rod cylinders because here the rod and side fluid whatever is there, the same area is to be maintained on the blank and side of the second cylinder. Instead of that, if you use the both side rods, then the area will become same, then the speed will be remain same. Here we can see in the animation, both the cylinders are extending and retracting with the same speed at the same time. Okay, that is the whatever the requirement of the synchronization of the cylinder in series. And for that purpose, here the the double rod cylinders also use, otherwise we can use the same area of the rod and side of the cylinder 1 with the blank and side of the cylinder 2 also another option. During its operation, its operation when the direction control valve is at left envelope, the fluid from the pump will be flowing to the right left side of the cylinder 1, left side of the cylinder 1. Then extending of the extension of the cylinder 1 will start. At the same time, on the right hand side of the cylinder 1, fluid whatever is there, that will be flowing back to the, uh, flowing to the cylinder 2 on the left hand side. Therefore, the extension of the 
cylinder 2 also starts. Okay, this is the extension and the fluid whatever is there on the cylinder 2, okay, right hand side, that fluid will be flowing back to the tank. Then, when the direction control valve is switched to the right hand side of the right hand envelope of the direction control valve, the fluid from the pump will be going to the cylinder 2 on the right hand side. Then the retraction of the cylinder will be taking place, piston will be taking place. Then the fluid from the left hand side of the piston is flowing to the right hand side of the cylinder 1. Then retraction of the cylinder 1 also starts. Then the fluid at the left hand side of the fluid uh, of the piston that is flowing back to the tank. Like this, the operation will be taking place. But here, the one requirement is there for this one. The always, the circuit of this uh, synchronizer cylinder will be filled with a fluid. Otherwise, the it for the filling during the filling of the uh, these lines that will take uh, some times. Those will not become uh, synchronized. For example, here the operation we can see here the, the fluid line should be filled. Otherwise, this fluid line for filling the extension will not take place. And here also, if this line is empty, then the, the some fluid is flowing taking place. That will take a time. That's why always the circuit lines are filled with a fluid. That is the requirement for the synchronization. By using this synchronization, the two cylinders by the one one pump only at a time with the same speed we can extend and retract and that can be used for the different applications where the particular requirement is there like the two cylinders we have taken as the example here the number of cylinders we can use where the extension and retraction requires at the same time at the same speed okay. with this i take this explanation thanks for watching if you like share, subscribe and comment.